Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about decoder. Decoder is also a digital circuit, but it is having multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Multiple inputs and multiple outputs. It is a digital circuit. It is a digital circuit. Uh, and it has multiple inputs and multiple outputs multiple inputs and multiple outputs okay it is having an enable pin the enable must be accepted for the decoder to perform its normal function enable pin must be accepted must be accepted accepted means we need to pass one to be to enable the chip accepted for the decoder to perform its normal function to perform its normal function otherwise decoder maps all input code words into a single disabled output code word otherwise the decoder the decoder maps all input code words into a single disabled output disabled output code word see what is the meaning of this one is we are using the decoders multiplexers encoders all the main application of these type, these types of digital circuits are in terms of communication secret communications okay so when we are passing a code word when we are passing a code word that should be encoded that should be encoded the encoded code word after receiving by the receiver must be decoded by the process or decoder so in order to decode that particular information the decoder must be enabled so uh, in order to enable that the enable pins must be accepted otherwise the code word will not give you the correct information what the user has sent okay this is the meaning of the main function of the decoder now i in the beginning i said it is having multiple inputs and multiple outputs that means what is the size of the decoder so the size of a decoder is n by 2 power n size of a decoder is n by 2 power n n by 2 power n okay that means if n is equal to 2 2 by 2 power 2 means for 2 to 4 decoder if n is equal to 3 3 to 8 decoder if n is equal to 4 4 to 16 decoder that means 4 input data can be converted into 16 output lines 16 output code word okay and similarly 3 input data can be converted into 8 code word 8 bits of code word like this the data can be uh, divided or decoded into the required information length that is known as code word okay this is the size of a decoder which is of n by 2 power n so the decoder symbol or any digital representation so n by 2 power n it is having some set of enable pins enable input and input code word input code word which is of size n and output we are having 2 power n output lines 
2 power n output lines are code words. Okay, this is what the decoder logic diagram. Decoder logic diagram. Okay, example is example 224 decoder, 328 decoder, 4216 decoder. Like that, we are having n number of decoders. And now there are two main ICs we use. There are two ICs we use. They are first one seven four one three nine which is dual 224 decoder that means this particular IC consists of two sets of 224 decoders and the second one is 74138 it is 328 decoder 328 decoder okay so 74138 which is nothing but two parts of 224 decoders that means it is having two 224 decoders and 74138 is nothing but 328 decoder 328 decoder this particular ICs are also represented as 74 LS LS138 CR we can also write it as 74 LS138 74 LS138 is nothing but uh, LS is nothing but low power short key low power short key which is the transistor part uh, we are using inside the integrated circuit okay this is what the integrated circuits we have now let us see how the 224 decoder is designed 224 decoder design okay so as i said it is having two inputs it is having two inputs i1 i0 and one enable pin, one enable pin, two to four decoder, and four output lines. Y not, Y one, Y two, Y three. These are the output lines. Now coming to the truth table. Truth table of this two to four decoder so we have enable pin i1 i0 and outputs are y3 y2 y1 y0 see here from here from all these only we have taken the values so when enable pin is equal to 0 irrespective of the state of inputs all outputs are zeros that means the chip is in disabled condition no operation is performed in that situation okay when enable pin is equal to 0 the chip is disabled and when enable pin is equal to 1 now depends on the input combinations either 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the corresponding 0 0 means y naught is activated and remaining all are zeros 0 1 means y 1 is activated remaining all are zeros 1 0 means y2 is activated remaining 3 are zeros and 1 1 means y3 is activated remaining all are zeros so when this all happens when enable pin is equal to 1 okay so enable means it is a pin which is used to which is used to uh, activate the pin we can say which is used to activate the uh, chip integrated circuit okay now based on this expression we can just simply write the boolean expression as y naught is equal to y naught is equal to we can write it as enable i1 bar i naught bar enable i1 bar i naught bar y1 is equal to enable i1 i naught bar y2 is equal to enable i1 i0 bar y3 is equal to 
enable i not i1 okay now with these expressions we can draw the logic diagram gate level diagram so gate level diagram enable i1 i not but i should be considered in the cascaded version also and i not is also considered as cascaded uh, sorry uh, complemented version so the first why not why not is nothing but enable enable i bar i1 bar and i not bar and similarly y2 sorry y1 enable i1 i not bar sorry 0 0 0 1 this is this is up to here sorry see i1 bar i not here i not and the next one enable i1 i not bar this is y2 and similarly we have y3 which is obtained as enable i1 i not okay so this is what the gate level diagram of the decoder which is of size 2 to 4 decoder okay we will see the vhdl code in the next video